growth is essential Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 15 but speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things into him who is the head Christ life involves growth we are born um, to our parents and then we go through uh, various stages of growth we are children and uh, you know and then we are adolescents and then we become adults so uh, growth um occurs in different stages in the physical which we're all well aware of uh some growth is is um uh, just natural but then the if if we if we want to experience growth in other areas maybe in the area of our learning and our skills we've got to put in some effort and in the same way even in our spiritual man uh, we have to grow up uh, it's not good enough to remain uh, a child it's good to be child like but not childish uh, and so we we are called to grow up uh, in our spiritual walk with the lord as well uh, and, and similar to the natural uh, our spiritual growth will require our effort i like to read to us uh, 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 about john the baptist and jesus luke chapter 1 and verse 80 john the baptist uh, is is being talked of so the child grew and became strong in spirit and was in the deserts till the day of his manifestation to israel so we see here that john the baptist did not only grow up physically but there was a growth of the spirit uh, or a development of the spirit that he underwent and in in the same way jesus also grew in his spirit man so luke 2 and verse 40 and the child grew and became strong in spirit filled with wisdom and the grace of god upon him so along with natural growth came spiritual growth as well so uh, pursuing growth in the natural as well as uh, in the spiritual is extremely important uh, and if for whatever reason there is stunting of our growth and what would stunting of growth mean in the in the spiritual sense um we could have had several experiences with god but uh, if at any point we just stop at that and uh, we do not have a, a a fresh walk with god where we are we are experiencing him on a daily basis we we are experiencing the power of his word and his spirit on a daily basis we could be settling in for for a, a serious stunting in our spiritual journey and it's most dangerous uh, to be stunted in our spiritual development uh, because what this will do is this will cause us to remain stuck uh, we we will end up in a place where our our faith is not renewed where our faith is not growing and uh, and and we're not learning new things in the lord we're not enjoying uh, more of his presence we're not uh, in a position where where we are able to release a greater power um, uh, of his presence and his spirit through our lives to bless others so the responsibility lies with us to never let this happen and and uh, the responsibility to grow up in god uh, is is something that is on our um, shoulders and we we've got to uh, rise up and make every effort to pursue spiritual growth and as uh, we began uh, by by reading the scripture from ephesians 4 uh, god desires for us to grow up into all things i'm going to read that for us once again ephesians chapter 4 and verse 15 but speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things into him who is the head christ let's pray together Heavenly Father we thank you Lord that uh, Lord you want us to to grow in you Lord your desire is to see each one of us Father God grow uh, into becoming more and more like Jesus Christ and and God we pray that uh, as as we uh, deposit your word in our hearts oh God as we open up and cooperate with the work of the Holy Spirit that Lord every day God Lord that we will be renewed Father God that we will be transformed and conformed into the image of your dear son oh god thank you once again oh god thank you for for uh, choosing us oh god to to um, 
Lord, become like Jesus. We worship you, Father. We we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.